Hey guys, we're back at Madison Motor Works today. Uh, we're working on the 97 Rust Coma. Uh, you go down the road, hit the brakes, and it's headed toward the ditch on either side of the road for some reason. Uh, we're going to replace the inner and outer tie rods on it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And while we're doing this, we'll give y'all an overview of what we've done on the frame on it since I lost all the videos. Go me. Hope y'all enjoy. Like and subscribe. What we got going on here? <laughs> cruising down the road and you hit the brakes and it's, it's going to the right or the left whichever way the steering wheel's facing actually so I'll give you guys a little idea of what's going on here so it hits the brakes and we're going right way off the side of the road so <laughs> it's pretty bad. So we're gonna do those inner and outer tie rods and see what we can come up with. Hope this video helps somebody out. First off, we're going to start taking apart this outer tie rod here. Take your uh, key out. Let's see here. Get that out of the way. We're going to remove this boot here. That time you got up. Get this out of the way here. Put a slide down. Hit the nigga slide down. Let me Mother There's our inner ball joint here. So what we're gonna do. There's a washer that locks the, the nut in the back. We're gonna bend it out of the way. And we're able to remove the inner. You want know that little one? Let's see if that slide over this. It should. Get us some room. There we go. I'm not seeing the. There it is. It's locked on the back side. In the bottom. Yep. <laughs> It should come loose. Yeah, I want to come loose. Hold on. long-winded okay. there we go there's the lot washer. lot washers on it Got two pins that lock in here and then you bend the other way here so that keeps the nut from turning Cool. And since we're not reusing this inner tie rod here, I'm just going to try to get it out of there. And there you have it. Yep. 
All right, so we got both sides off now. <laughs> Only ones on video. Same process on the other side. Yes. We're gonna attempt to build these on the shelf or on a table and uh, put it back together. We're playing. All right, since we don't have a alignment machine here, we're gonna try to get these even for the most part. Yeah, as close as we can by eyeballing and thread counting. Then we've got to break them apart so we can get the boots off. <clears throat> It's going to be close, but it's not it's different. Oh, well, I guess we busted loose now. <laughs> I should have done that on the. Let's, let's go put it in the hole. Do it in? Go put it in the. Yeah, that's right. Right. Now we're going back together with this thing. Let's just reverse the process. Make sure you got your flop washer on it. Yep. It didn't look like it, but yeah, I watched it go in the bottom right here. Slot washer. Yep. <clears throat> uh. Oh, 
Oh, that socket went out. Different big one. Different big one. I've got to get another boot for here, but it'll work. I go to the auto parts store and then two new clamps for the boots on the back. So we're going to carry it down the road here shortly and, and uh, see if it pulls to the right or left when braking. So, kind of a safety concern. Yeah, it was kind of dangerous driving it back and forth to work with some of that traffic we deal with. <laughs> so, as promised, we're going to show y'all what we've done to the frame since those videos are MIA. Okay, so this frame was rusted on both sides where the hanger is, and it was rusted all the way down through to up to underneath mid door here. I bought these caps online, and we cut off, cut out all the old rusted frame because apparently they didn't come with big enough drain holes, and it just holds water. So we cut it out, removed all the rust we could, put them on, welded them on new bolts stiffened it up real good painted them put a rust inhibitor on it sorry it's dirty too i mean it still needs a little work under here but it's far better than it ever was and then i bought these stiffeners to go on the outside just cause why not
And uh, that's it. I mean, it was a lot of work. I hate we lost the videos, but that's part of it sometimes, I guess. But here's the whole rust comb. <laughs> it's a good little truck, though. Okay, we back down the road again to show that when we hit the brakes, it don't pull either direction, but the car is, our truck is very out of a line. Yeah. So Imagine we're gonna have that. to get to the alignment shop as soon as possible. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this video.